NBC 26, this is Peter. This is a public communication services collect call from... Our Steve Tyree reporter, Avery. An inmate at the Calumet County Jail. The use of three-way or call waiting will disconnect the call. This call will be monitored and recorded. To accept this call, dial 5 now. Hello? Hello. Uh, is there a reporter there? Uh, yes, hang on one second. Okay. Justine? Yeah. Hang on, I'm getting a reporter. Hold on one second. Okay. He's in jail. I've got to cut off in the car and it's in Okay. Hang on one second. I have to route you to another number, okay? Okay. Hang on one second. Can you make sure that ISD 8 is open? Make sure ISD 8 is open. I'm going to transfer back there. I'm just clearing up a line to transfer you to, Steve. Hang okay. on a second. How are you doing? All right. Okay, under as best can be expected, I guess. Now. Yeah. yeah. Hang on, I'll be transferring you in just a second. Okay, I'm transferring you now. Hang on. Okay. New 1920-738-1694. Hello, Stephen. Hello. Hi. Uh, you're going to hear the anchors talking. They're going to be. Ta they'll throw it to you in just a second here. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Breaking news tonight that we've been following the first court appearance of Stephen Avery, the man accused, the Michigan man accused in the death of Teresa Hallbuck. Today, uh, cash bond was set at a half million dollars, but the biggest development right now is we happen to have Stephen Avery live on the telephone right now from the Calumet County Jail. First of all, Stephen, uh, the developments today in court, your reaction to a half million dollars bail and also being charged with the murder of Teresa Hallbuck. So the cash bail, it's a lot of money, you know, something I can't come up with. But that's pretty bad. I got to come up with that when I didn't do nothing. You know, but then somebody put the evidence there. I didn't. Why do you say that? Now, you have contended all along that uh, you were being set up. They say they found blood evidence in the car. They found uh, hidden license plates that were crushed. Uh, uh, why, why do you think the DNA evidence is inaccurate? Because somebody had to put it there. I know I had a cut on my my finger. I know the blood was in my house from that, and I didn't clean it up. And it was cleaned up, and it don't make no sense. Stephen, the prosecutors have said that it is real illogical that somebody would be walking around with perhaps a vial of your blood or your DNA. So, uh, you know, how would you explain that the DNA evidence has linked? you to the murder of Teresa Hallbuck? Well, with my blood, it, don't, it ain't hard to get my blood or anything else. They got, I don't know how much stuff of that already. You know, I ain't saying the sheriff's department, but it could be somebody else. Stephen, uh, would you be willing to take a lie detector test to uh, try to have this, uh, your statement stand up? If that's impossible, I probably would probably would. Do you think someone else in your own family could have, could have been involved with this, set you up? I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. You know, they believe me, they don't believe me. You know, it all depends. Some of your family members have indeed said that you are guilty of murder. Well, that would be my sister-in-law, and we never see the eye to eye anyway. We never did, you know, since I've been out. 
we never seen eye to eye. We always had, I don't know, she never liked me and I never did like her. Stephen, you're facing murder charges in uh, the Teresa Hallbuck case. What would you say to the Hallbuck family? I'm sorry. It's your daughter. I don't know what else could I say. I'm sorry this happened to her or whoever. I don't know what to say. It's hard. I know it's hard on them. It's hard on me. It's hard on my family. But the, the main thing, it was her. Stephen, when the last time you saw Teresa Paulbach, uh, how did things end? The last time I seen her was on a Monday when she took a picture of the van. And she left and drove away? Yes. So how did her car end up back in your property, did Somebody drove it in there. And uh, we, uh, I seen taillights. My brother, my older brother, seen headlights. But we didn't. We never went to the junkyard and checked. We just went by us. You know, they could have drove back in there. It's real easy. And most of the time, I leave my doors open, and I just lock the front one. Stephen, what about the stuff that they found on your computer? This call was from the Calumet County Jail. This call may be monitored or recorded. Charged in the death of Teresa Halbach, live on the phone here at NBC 26, still maintaining his innocence. That's right. We are continuing to follow this. Stephen, you there? Yeah. We'll okay, one second. More to you and hopefully reconnect with Stephen Avery and Brian ask a few more questions. For now, though, we are going to send one it second, to Stephen. NBC Nightly News. We'll see you again here live at 6. Stephen, I'm gonna, the anchors want to ask a few more questions here. Can I hang him up and... Yeah. Okay. Hello. Can you still hear us, Stephen? Yeah. Stephen, we're off the air right now. We're going to re record some of your uh, comments here in just a few minutes. Uh, what made you call us? I don't know. I just, I don't want to take a fall for somebody who did something to me. I don't feel like doing a life sentence for something I didn't do. What? Stephen, did you did you have a crush on Teresa? Did you have any uh, relationship with Teresa? No. I know. I, I spoke to you about a week ago, Stephen. You talked about how she had come by twelve to fifteen times. It wasn't the first time you'd run into her, correct? No. I don't know. Now the investigators have put a wide range of things on the uh, on the list of the uh, warrants and subpoenas that they've had. One of them was dog feces. They were suggesting some private investigators that possibly pieces of Teresa could have been fed to the dog. What's your reaction to that? No. I don't think so. It's if I ain't there all day. I'm mostly working at the yard and helping out. You know, so if something's going to do something, they got all day. What like about, What about uh, their contention that they found uh, bone, that they found uh, teeth that, uh, in the burn barrel that were closed? Did someone burn Teresa in that barrel? No. No, because I would see it then. The last time I was in that barrel was about a week before that, and there was only a, it was half full or somewhere in there, but I only threw two boxes in there of soda boxes, and they weren't burnt yet. Stephen, if, uh, would you be willing to put us on a list to come down and interview you in person? On camera? I don't know, I can. I ain't even supposed to be saying none of this. You, you maintain that you're being set up. Who would want to set you up in something like this? The only thing I can think of is Manitowoc County with the money. That's all it comes in my mind. Then somebody who's a uh, knew I was going to get some money from the, the state and everything else, and that was going to be soon. And somebody's got to know all of that. So they didn't have to pay nothing out. Do you think that you're going to be able to beat this? Uh, I'm hoping. If I didn't do it, I should beat it. You know, and, and the governor, we made a, a, a Avery bill, and that was all for this. 
and they're disappointed in me. I didn't do nothing. I want them to help me to find out the truth. But who planted this stuff and everything? I don't know if the senators can help or what, but I'm innocent. I mean, that's what mostly I got to say. I ain't putting the Avery bill down. That's, that's a good thing. But how about now the, the innocent people? What if they, they're set up a little bit? You know, where they can't beat it. You know, everything comes in, in line with all of that stuff. So basically you feel like you're reliving a nightmare. Yeah. I don't know which way to go. And then they got my family. They don't know which way to go. Steve, we have to go get ready for the newscast, uh, but uh, feel free to call us anytime. You can put uh, my name on your list to come interview you, Bob Healy. I'll be there with the camera. Mm -hmm. Good luck. We'll All talk right. to you later. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.